When we do research or academic work, the path can be long and very often complex. We spend a lot of time just trying to find the right information, reading through so many papers. It's a challenge to keep up with everything. Now, many AI tools are coming forward, claiming to make this path easier. Today, we're going to look at one of them. Borium AI. It's an AI-powered platform for researchers and scientists. We'll talk about what it offers and see if it's a helpful guide for academic research and learning. So, the first thing you notice about Borium is its foundation. It claims to have access to a very large collection of academic materials. We're talking about numbers like 170 million academic papers, patents, and other scholarly writings. And the platform seems to be growing. This collection covers many different fields like natural science, engineering, and medicine. This is an important starting point because the size and breadth of the database really determine how useful the tool can be. If you're doing a serious literature review, you need to be able to find a wide range of papers, not just a few. Borium also seems to provide ways to narrow down your search, letting you filter by the year a paper was published, the impact of the journal it's in, or the specific subject area. This helps you move from a mountain of information to the specific documents you actually need to read. Now, having all those papers is one thing, but finding what you need inside them is another. This is where the AI part of Borium comes in. Instead of just typing keywords like you would in a standard search engine, it's designed to understand natural language questions. You can ask it something like, what are the new developments in CRISPR technology? The idea is that the AI will then search its database and give you an answer, complete with citations pointing to the papers it used. This seems to go a step further than just a list of links. It tries to synthesize the information for you. Another feature that stands out is the ability to upload your own PDF documents up to about 50 megabytes. Once you upload a paper, the system is supposed to read it, not just the text, but also the charts and the formulas. After it processes the paper, you can start asking questions about it directly. This could be very helpful for speeding up the review process. You can quickly ask about the paper's main findings or its methodology to decide if it's worth a full, careful read. This leads us to what seems to be one of Borium's more specific features, which they call Thesis Dialog. You can reportedly ask the AI, what is the main innovation in this paper? Or, explain the methodology. The AI will then try to find and highlight the exact parts of the paper that answer your question, or it might extract the conclusions for you. The system also claims to handle multimodal information, this means it's not just looking at the words, but also trying to understand the charts, graphs, and even the mathematical formulas within the text. For research in fields like physics or engineering, where formulas are a key part of the information, this ability to recognize and interpret them could be quite valuable. It's an attempt to move beyond text summarization and into actual content analysis, which is a difficult but important task for this kind of tool. Once you finish one project, new papers are already being published. Keeping up with the latest information in your field is a constant task. Borium appears to have a feature for this as well. It seems you can subscribe to specific topics, keywords, or research areas that are important to you. You can also follow specific journals or even other scholars. When new papers or new research related to those topics appears, the system will send you an update or an alert. This is a practical feature. It helps automate the work of monitoring different journals and databases. For anyone trying to stay current in a fast-moving field, having a tool that watches for new information and brings it to your attention could save a lot of time and manual effort. Research is also often not a solo journey. Many times you are working as part of a team, whether in an academic lab, a research group, or just on a class project with other students. Borium seems to acknowledge this with some features aimed at collaboration. Based on information about the platform, it includes tools like shared notebooks, where a team can gather notes and findings in one place. 
It also mentions project dashboards for tracking progress and even some form of version control for research workflows. These project management tools are important. When a group is working together, having a central place to share work, track changes, and communicate findings makes the entire process smoother and more organized. Now, we need to talk about a topic that is very important, especially in research. Privacy. When you are working with unpublished data, sensitive results, or just your own developing ideas, you need to trust the platform you're using. Borium's platform policies emphasize that the papers you upload or the work you do remain private. They state clearly that your personal data or research data is not used to train their AI models. This is a crucial promise. For an academic researcher, confidentiality is not a small thing. The integrity of your research depends on knowing your work is secure and won't be exposed or used in ways you did not approve. This focus on privacy is a necessary and important part of any tool intended for serious academic use. So, what is the final thought on Borium AI? It appears to be a very focused tool, built specifically for the academic and research journey. It combines a large database with AI search and deep reading features to try and speed up the process. If you are a student or researcher who spends hours sorting through literature, it seems built to address your specific challenges. Is it the best tool for you? The only way to know is to try it. We would suggest you look into their platform, as it appears to have a free plan. Test it with a paper from your own field and share your experience in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.